Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We come down here, we fixing to rig up and do some either ground, catfish, whatever, a bite. We didn't have no luck with plastic bait, so we went and got us some manners. We got some cut bait. We got some deer liver. So we rigging up to... Right now, I'm putting a slip cork on here. Oh, and I got these little old thread things right here I'm fixing to rig up with. Brody, he, he want to go up yonder to that one certain hole, and I wanted to stop and fish along the way, and he's found him some black bears and some hedge trimmers over there, so he's doing some gardening over here in the background, I reckon that's what you'd call it. <laughs> we got us a canteen of water and packed a lunch box, and we may not catch much, but we're going to have a good time. We're going to give it honest effort anyway. I tell you, though, what I better do. I better cut me a piece of this line right here off for a liter. While I'm thinking about it. I'll lay that down now. Otherwise, I had to dig my tackle box and get a whole nother piece of line out. So I'm going to put this swivel. And then I'm going to put about six, eight inches, ten inches a liter under my lid. That'll allow my minner, if I'm fishing live bait or cut bait, it won't make no difference. It'll give him room to swim around under there. I done took a liking to my buoy knife, y'all. I'll show y'all how I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tie this on there. And I know everybody's like, oh, snail your hook first. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. I done started doing it different. And the reason I do it different is if I break my line off or break the hook off, I ain't got to redo the whole thing to uh, fix it. Really, you want to you want to do a, a smaller line down here. That way, if it does break, it'll break down there and won't break all your stuff off. But oh well, let me get one of these. I got some circle hooks. I got from Amazon. I'll show y'all how to do this. Go in the front and get it about how much I want it. Yeah, that's about right. I hope y'all can see that. So what I done is I went in the front, made a loop, and and come, let's see, and come back through the front. That way it's crossed, so it creates a loop down there. So you grab that loop. Let me show you again. I got the loop here, your main line coming here. And then you just wrap this six, seven, whatever your lucky number is, amount of times, 13, seven, three, eight, you know, just whatever you like. I ain't even counting them. I don't have no clue where I'm at. I'm talking to y'all. So once you've wrapped sufficiently, Then you want to poke it through that loop that you made. And once you have done that, then you want to grab your main line. And you got all of that, see. So then cut your tag out here off so it ain't down there in your way. Got me a big old manor I'm gonna hang on there. I got me a live manor on this and we're gonna see oh, which one hit first. What? No, son. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'll get you a pole, you can throw it in it, but these manners is easy to sling off of there and we'll just be wasting our bait, so watch back. Boy, this is a mud 
hole down here. I told Brody, I, I was fixing to catch me a grown. Now, I, I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm fixing to. I'm finna caught me a grown right here with this piece of a Gasper goo. I had this thing in the freezer saved for just such an occasion as this. Get the head of it anyway. Wipe that stinking stuff off. I don't want to wipe that on my britches leg. Good Lord, that smells bad. That cypress knee right down there is going to get me for the days over, I can tell you. But I'm going to catch me a grunnel right here. Going to do it. Let's go throw it out there and see what happens. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're getting a bite right here on this one. Not on that job pole, but my cork is right there somewhere. It's bouncing. So. Yes. Do what? I want to drink all this. All right, we'll sit up there and take a lead off. <laughs> Got water cold. Don't spill it on you. What's the matter? Can you help me get a drink? <laughs> yeah. That water cold. Over here, let me get this stuff out of the way. Fighting for Oh, I, I got it on the bank. Donna, hold the pole up. Okay. I'm going to let it make it. Keep the pole up in the air. Keep the pole up in the air. <laughs> Keep the pole up in the air, son. Oh! Things didn't hold. Come on now, open your mouth. Who 
Ooh, he got that mine. You got him? Yeah. Hold the pole up. Pole up, son. <laughs> Y'all, these things ain't working no more. I don't know what happened to these. Yeah. Oh, slick bank. Ah. Well, we tangled all up in line and everything else. Come over here, Brody. <laughs> Yeah, Turn around and look at the camera. Now. Tell them what you done coughed there, boy. Tell them. <laughs> I don't see anything. But, oh, it's bro they broke. What's broke? Yeah. Don't stick your finger in there. You got teeth, bud. <laughs> Y'all, we've struggled today to catch a fish. We had done been all over everywhere. I got to sit down. I'm wore out now. Yeah. You happy now? Yeah! That's your groom? Yeah. Hi, right, we gotta go over here and find some pliers or whatnot and get him off of him. Let's go do that, Brody. You know, yeah, we, we still keep got... We keeping him. We still got two poles out. We keeping that thing. Lay like that up there where I can watch we it. We keeping right. that. Yeah, we keeping him. We're gonna put him in the cooler. You, you want, well, we don't know what we're going to do just yet. Uh, we got to find our, I got to find my pliers. Because he has forevermore swallowed it. I mean. Whew. Yeah. You, you fish. Did not get away because you are a good fish to eat. <laughs> I believe he's his excited. whiskers are teared off. Yeah. I think a fish did that. We may have to uh maybe an alligator did that. I can't even see the hook, y'all. It must be as a scale. I mean, I can... <laughs> I He's been... swallowed it. He wanted that bait. I've been waiting again to catch one of them fish again. And that one's the same as that other one we caught yesterday. That one is the same. He... He swallowed it. I mean, no, I'm happy. You happy? Brody's been ready to go home most of the day because he ain't been just tearing it up. I wanted to go. I want to go home when we catch some more fish. Well, I think I want to go home when I catch one fish. All right, y'all. I ain't got time for all this. I ain't got time for all this. That's what we're going to do. We'll have to get that hook back when we go home. All right, hold that up. We'll put another. All right, don't. Yeah, right there. All right, what we're going to put him, Brody? In the cooler. <laughs> Y'all, that boy's excited now. Uh. Uh. He's fixing to come alive in there. Y'all, I don't know what happened to my little old. Y'all seen the Rapala like to let me down. Now, hey, I got a back up at Hayes Davis, give me. Hey, I may Dad. have to uh, Dad. keep this handy. What, bud? Mr. Fish that we caught is going to be eight. All right, y'all, we had to cut our hook off, so we got to re rehook up him. Yeah. I mean, he swallowed those circle hooks. Finish my sound. Daddy, what's wrong with him, y'all? Mm. When do we get that fish? When do we get it? This? The fish. This fish. Yeah. 
when we was running set hooks. Remember, I caught that Gasper Gould and we kept it. committed yet, so we're going to be patient. There it went. See it go under. We're just going to wait. He ain't left with it yet. I tell you what, though, while he's doing what he's doing, uh, we better get these other ones reeled in out of the way. Uh oh, that right there. There goes the other one. Don't go, on, Brody. We're gonna catch two fish at the same time. Yee! Looks like. We got three fish. Hang on, hang on. He ain't committed. Let's let him. Listen, here's hung out here. I was tight lining with it. It come loose. This loose. I'm going to throw it back over yonder way out of the way. Stop right there. Well. You got two fish pulling the pole. I don't know if they're doing anything now, bud. Your cork's bobbing around. Let's let him run a second. Let's see if he's ready. Oh, he's over. Here, you gonna fish him or what? <laughs> Him. Really? It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh. Is it home? It's home. Hang on. He can't go over up. He did. Oh, he did. Uh. Well, y'all. Dad, damn it. That's the problem down here with this letting them run. Ah. Well, Brody, we lost part of our gear. We tried again, y'all. Don't don't it, <laughs> y'all. Before I could get set up, I'm getting hit on this other pole and tight line. Wait, let's see what's happening with it. So y'all, something keeps hitting this hole right here. And he ain't committed himself to it yet. Hang on. Hang on. I got deer liver on yet, too. Hit it a couple of times. Now 
Not until I know there's a fish on it, son. Fish on it when it flops up. When I see that line pulling that pole. Well, I can't pull in that pole. You don't do it. <laughs> You'll see the tip of this pole move. Looks like something hit our hit the one over here with the cork. It went under. It's got a minnow on it. I'm gonna sit down here with it a minute. Y'all, we're getting hit, but they're not committing. I mean, like that pole over there was just bumped a time or two and then that was it. Well, this cork went under and moved a little bit and nothing else. So, I don't know if it's gar or what. Hang on, I'll get that before you get hooked. Y'all, we think to roll our stuff up and go. We ain't having real great luck anyway. We do got one gruntle. Let go of it. Let go of it. Turn it loose. You want me to put the handle on this reel back on the other side? Look at me. You want this handle over here? Yeah. Well, I see I swapped it because I thought you wanted it the other way. You want to turn these manners loose down there in the water? No. Well, we can't keep them, they'll die. Why don't you go put them in the water down there? Okay. That man's already dead. You dip them out and go put them in the water down there. You got all of them? Oh. Oh. Well, don't stomp him. You gonna kill him. There's another minute. Get up him. <laughs> There's y'all low. Lord, Lord. Let's go give him a chunk. Y'all, it, it is hot down here. I'm telling y'all. Here. You don't need to knit. Here, hold it. Oh, I wish we could eat him. We'll bite into him. Throw him out in the water. All right, y'all. Well, that is one of the things about this swamp. You can come down here when the weather's right and the water's right and the fish is biting and absolutely just wear them out. Catch a cooler full. Days like right now, it, it's a struggle and you can't catch nothing. We've worked hard today. We've caught one fish. We missed one right out here. Got him wrapped around a log. That is one of the things about this swamp, and it's always been that way. I always try to come whenever I know the weather and water is right, and it's getting to where it's rare that it's right. Uh, when it is, you can catch fish, but anyway, we fixing the head of the house. We fixing to go cook this one grunnel that we got, and Brody's gonna fool around and get pinched right there. I did. 
But we appreciate y'all watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things. The way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. Laugh when I say that. That pink. I'm gone. Leave him here. That one's in the water.